Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7L today. Gosmo RTA for you guys. So jumping into this session here, we're going to do our best to continue using Wukong and we'll see what, how he does. Can't really pick him as I said in uh, previous videos all the time. Uh, he's not super super flexible but he is a very decent bruiser that is uh, pretty decent against a lot of the uh, meta units right now like Emma Hayes, Demo Senya, anyone with defense penetration in their kit. Still have to watch out for Genoa though because his S1 doesn't penetrate defense and if he crits you you're gonna get the full brunt of that damage. Uh, okay, so let's see what we got here. I think I was banning Knockwall and ML Politis. Changing our pre-bans yet again to keep things fresh. I don't want to, uh, you know, get too comfortable. I'm always going to stay on your toes here and uh, practice against different types of playstyles. So we're going to let Ron off the ban list just because I can deal with anti-cleave. It's just that if I want to play with Wukong, Typically don't want to fight against Cleave. Uh, I want a more standard v standard fight. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what we got here. ML Haste and Zeo are banned. So let's go for Dragon Bride Senya. I think she's a fairly, fairly good first pick here. DDR is pretty good into my uh, Senya, but with ban protection, I have Dragon Bride, uh, or sorry, Dragon King Sharoon to go with Dragon Bride Senya to try to keep her alive. Yeah, that'll be fine. DDR Genoa. Is this a Wukong game? Because. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly does look like it. Uh, so no ML Politis means Genoa is really not a huge deal to me. Uh, I can go for... Could go for something like an Arya if I really wanted to here. Arya could be okay if I have the... I have the resist. I have like 200 resist here. Probably would need someone like Christy to help. But if I go Arya and... Dragon King Sharoon, it might not be bad. Hmm. I don't want to pick Wukong too early, so we will go... Let's go Arya and Dragon King Sharoon. How about that? He can ban Arya if he wants. I definitely want Dragon King Sharoon here. He's gonna go ahead and... Ooh. Alright, see? So here you go. Uh, this is also one of the reasons why I like banning Ron. So, a lot of people now are ban protecting Ron and then pivoting really quick from this kind of uh, standardy, controlly type team. DDR is a really good anchor for these types of aggro teams, and then pivoting straight into a very aggressive uh, playstyle. So, ML Rowana can't really do anything about, honestly, here, uh, along with the Ron. So, it's gonna kind of suck. Genoa here is gonna be a bit bad for us, too. Wukong might be okay. We, we might get controlled by DDR, but I mean, Dragon King Sharoon is here. We can go Wukong. He has elemental advantage over the Ron, and the Rowana doesn't really hurt him that much. Genoa has a tough time trying to kill him as well, so we can go for Wukong just because. And maybe I can go for Earth Selene. Is that what we do? Prevent him from S2ing? Could go for an Earth Selene. I mean, it's not terrible. My Selene is also pretty tanky here, so we'll, we'll go for this. And he's gonna pick Jacko. I think Jacko is more of a bridge unit, so if Ron goes and debuffs the team, Jacko will push up, she'll try to kill like Wukong and stuff. I think we'll ban the Jacko. He's gonna ban the Senya. Ooh, no mitigation for me is gonna kinda suck, actually. Alright, so Genoa's gonna be a huge problem. Arya is probably gonna get reset by Rowana. Yeah, this is not looking too great for me right now. However, doesn't mean that it's going to be over just yet. We'll see how he plays it out. He can S2 with Ron. So we'll see. Ooh, you know what? Abyssal Yu Fiend would have been kind of nice for this uh, Rowana here. But he is going to slow burn. That's fine. Rowana's going to go. Oh, did he hit Wukong? I, I can't believe it. Every single time I fight against an ice unit, uh, they always, always, always happen to uh, to hit him here. Alright, well, S3 comes in, we get reset, we get pushed back, it's fine. Because DDR, he can't, he can S2, but he can't S3. And if he S1s and sleeps somebody, then Sharoon is also going to uh, proc. Oh, he's going to do it! Okay. Wait, he's gonna proc Selene as well. Selene goes into a random unit. Okay, kill the Rowana, that's fine by me. Very nice. 
Very nice. Not really sure why he's going for this, because I can push back. Oh wait, no I can't. Oh, you know what? I can stun though. I'm gonna stun the Genoa here. Nice, very nice. Beautiful stuff, because now... Um, Celine can go ahead and hit the Genoa. We'll try to proc him. There you go, beautiful. And now that he's proc, it's pretty much over. I don't- I really don't know why he went for the DDR there. Cause... Sharoon was already... I mean, would have mattered. I think it would, because I don't think I would have the souls to guarantee a stun there. If, um, if he didn't proc my Selene. Selene was able to attack with her S2. The game needs some souls, enough for Dragon King Shirun to actually soul burn her S1. So, hey, there you go. <laughs> he should have held on to it. But then again, if he s one and he slept somebody, it would still push up the Dragon King Shirun. It would still be kind of bad for him, but I at least wouldn't be able to guarantee the stun in that scenario. I don't know kind of tricky. The only way to prevent the sleep from his DDR is to S2, but if he just S2, he'll still proc Selene anyway, so he might as well go for the S3 and then S2, I guess was his reasoning. Not really sure, but uh, glad that, that worked out in the end for us. <laughs> Not gonna complain about that. Selene was a good pick. Really don't know why he banned Dragon Bride Senya when uh, he had when he had the units that he had, right? He had injury and stuff on his team. He had Genoa to try to burst down the, the Senya early on. Uh, it's a little strange to see Genoa first picks, but hey, I am all for it. All for it here. Let's go for um, Dragon Bride Senya. I'm going to take that away from the Genoa because ML Politis is banned. Genoa by himself is not too difficult to deal with usually, so we'll go for DDR as well here as a kind of control unit. So, ban protection is fine. Uh, he can lock in, you know, Dragon King Sharoon against me. I've fought against her multiple times at this point, to the point where it's it's pretty much expected. Uh, Earth Selene is also here, okay? So we're not going to press any of our buttons on DDR until Selene dies, but that's not a huge issue. Yeah, so Wukong, if I choose him, he does have a stun in his kit. I'm a little hesitant, though, because, uh, you know, if he has three, his Dragon King Shrew can also cleanse. It's going to kind of suck. I kind of want to lock in Wukong, because he's just cool and I want to use him. <laughs> but uh, it's also pretty bad for me to fight his current team right now. I guess we'll go Wukong and then Fire Ravi. I want to take the Fire Ravi away, because if my opponent picks Fire Ravi into Wukong, I'm pretty much screwed here, okay? So if I pick Wukong, if he picks an Ice Unit into Fire Ravi, Wukong has advantage over that, right? So his best bet is to pick another Fire Unit, but if he does, we'll pick an Ice Unit down here, perhaps Ban Genoa or one of the other Fire Units. We'll be, we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. So double DPSs, we got two supports. I can pick, I can afford to pick one other support here as long as this last unit, uh, one of these last two units is not another fire unit. If it is, double fire is gonna be kind of bad into Wukong. Oh, ML Ken's really bad for Wukong. Yeah, I probably gotta ban that ML Ken there. I can't even control ML Ken because the Dragon King Sharoon is there. That is kind of cheeky, I like it. All right, but into this, what would I choose? Honestly, I feel like Spectre Tenebria could be a pretty decent pick. As long as the Selene is- Ooh, you know what? Could Roy work here? Roy Mustang. Ban the ML Ken? No, no, no. I think I could ban ML Ken and still do this. Um... Let's go Para. Let's go this. Alright. Oh, he's banning Para! Oh, interesting! I thought he was gonna let Para through, because if I was gonna do the uh, S3, Selene would be an issue for me, right? Uh, okay, that's fine. We'll keep Wukong in the back line, I think. It's probably for the best. Like, DDR is not really gonna be doing all that much, honestly. So, we're just gonna have to try to kill this uh, Sharoon as soon as possible. Yeah, I really don't want Wukong to die here. So we'll let Ravi kind of self-sustain herself. DDR is okay. DDR is fine. Let's go ahead and... The problem is I don't want to proc the Dragon King Sharoon. 
Arwell has resist, right? Let's go for Arwell. Okay, never mind. That was bad. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Uh, she is going to S3. That's going to be bad because it's a defense break coming out here. Selene and Dragon King Shrewd together are pretty good. As, as you guys saw from the previous... Uh, previous um, round. So I can push up this Wukong. That's not terrible. I can go for the Dragon King Shirun here. Let's go for this. Push up the Wukong. Right? Oh, she's on Water's Origin. It's actually not good. Okay, he can stun Fire Ravi or Wukong here. Uh, I anticipate, yes, the Fire Ravi. She's gonna hit quite hard. Oh shoot, and it does land, and he gets a nice barrier for everyone too, which I don't really appreciate. Now, he already, uh... Oh, Genoa, it's fine. I'm just gonna S1. <clears throat> I'm not gonna S3 yet. I want to stun the Genoa, but I'm afraid that if I S3, he's not gonna get stunned here. Or sorry, not that he's not gonna get stunned, he's not gonna get hit um, below half his health because of the barrier. Oh my god, that damage from Selene, that's insane. Uh, and if he doesn't get hit below the health of the barrier, it doesn't proc his passive, and then a Dragon King Shrewd will be able to uh, to cleanse him, right? And that's not what we really want. So Genoa could S3, he could maybe try to kill DDR, I'm not sure. He can easily kill Dragon Bride and Senya though. Or he can go for Fire Ravi, I mean it's up to him. S3 already penetrates defense, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, okay. That is fine. Uh, DDR might be able to I hope he cleanses his own stun. That would be fantastic. Let's go ahead and hit the Genoa here. Oh, ooh, Potion Fall did not cleanse his stun. That's really bad, because now uh, Senya's going to go down, unfortunately. Or not. Okay, he's going to go for DDR. Shirun's going to go. She could try to stun somebody. Water's Origin on Shirun is kind of problematic. I'm not used to fighting her on Water's Origin. Oh, he's gonna stun the Ravi too. No crit, so no cleansing on our part. Kinda sucks. Oh no! Ooh, that would have been bad if he stunned there. Okay, so Wukong, we can actually just try to go for a Genoa stun here now. I think I might as well. Dragon King Shroom's pretty far back, so I'm okay. Oh, and he resisted that! Oh shoot! Okay, that's not good at all. That's not good at all. Uh, he can S3 and probably kill DDR here. Oh, he's gonna kill Fire Ravi instead. Okay. Yeah, this is a really bad position for me, because uh, Selene's gonna attack the highest attack unit, which is definitely Wukong, which means I'm screwed. I'm very screwed here. Dragon King Shirun is, uh... It's very nice to counter this DDR play right now. Because the Selene's there, because both of them are together, it's kind of a checkmate. Kind of like what I did to the opponent in the previous match. Uh, I'm just kind of I'm just kind of upset that this, uh, this Shirun's been stunning me so much. Uh, yeah, Wukong cannot do this. <laughs> he can't do this, unfortunately. Ooh. I feel like Selene's been a bit of an issue for me in general. I don't know if I want to pre-ban her, because I do like picking her sometimes. We'll see. We'll see. Typically, Fire Ravi would be pretty good in this situation. Uh, the issue was he was able to control her pretty much the entire game, and so she wasn't able to take a turn. If she was able to take turns, we would have been in a much better spot, uh, because we can get our fighting spirit up by attacking, and then we'd be able to uh, use her S3 at some point. But unfortunately, that's not what happened, but it's okay. Uh, again, I'm still not too afraid of Dragon King Shirun as a counterpick into DDR, which is why I'll continue doing what I was doing. He actually banned the same units as me. I feel like I wasted my pre-bans here. Alright, we're just gonna brute force this DDR, and usually when people pick Dragon Bride Senya, I like to pick Laia into that, but I could honestly pick a Tywin as well, it's a pretty decent unit here. Probably should have picked a Tywin in the previous match, honestly, to counter the Dragon King Shirun. He's gonna go LRK, that's fine by me. Bunny Dom, ooh, that's interesting. Bunny Dom is much easier for DDR to handle, because I can just pop an S2. Popping an S2 is a really great way to bypass Bunny Dom's protection with the skill null, uh, and, and, uh, her shenanigans there, right? Cleansing the whole team. 
while still giving my team tempo. I think I can lock in... This is still a Fire Robby game. Very much a Fire Robby game here. So let's go for it. We'll lock her in this time. And with this, I can pick another kind of... Con like, just kind of supporty unit. I could go for something like Laia if I really want to. Uh, Wukong would be kind of cool too. But let's go for... Do we go for Laia here? It's either Laia or Albedo. Let's go Albedo, why not? Let's go Albedo. I didn't switch up her gear just yet. Uh, I really do want to. But I haven't. I want to make her faster. She's currently still really slow build on a uh, counter. If I can make her faster, I'd be very, very happy with it. So if my opponent picks Laia, it's fine. Because again, Fire Ravi is really good into Laia. I really just want to pick Wukong, but he needs to pick two DPSs, otherwise his team is really lacking in damage. ML Ken is not a great pick into, into like a DDR, a Tywin type of situation where I can control him. Uh, and Albedo doesn't crit, so, well at least I'm not built with crit, so I can just chip him away, get him low enough, and then Fire Robbie can probably Soul Burn S1 into him and finish him off. If he goes for Karina, mm -hmm. I'd actually kind of like that. Ooh, never mind, Hua Young. Does Huayang ignore defense? Or is it just increased damage? Oh, wait a minute. No, he picked Wukong into Fire Ravi. What? Hang on, that's not cool. Oh, shoot. I'll just ban Huayang and I'll kill this Wukong. Uh, you can control Wukong, so... Could also just go for something like a shell tier here. It's not bad. Shell tier is not terrible. Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of the Hua Young here. I mean, Fire Robbie is pretty much just enough to kill the Wukong anyway. He probably has Adamant Aureus, so it's fine. We'll still have enough damage, I think. We just focus him down. He's gonna get rid of Albedo. Perfectly fine by me. Uh, shell tier does not need the HP imprint. I actually prefer her stay lower in health. And DDR, I don't know if I need the effectiveness here. I don't think I do, because I am going to effectiveness buff myself with the S2, and nothing on the other side is that high res that I need to worry about it. Alright, let's go ahead and just S2. It's pretty free. Uh, Shell tier, we could try to go for a kill onto Wukul. It's so funny, he's putting Bunny Dom in the back line. Isn't this just free for me? Let's go for it. If we crit here, it's gonna be great. If we don't, it's still fine. Oh. 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 That's gotta hurt. Alright, let's go for an S3. We might as well, because A Tywin's gonna go... Or, sorry, LRK's gonna go anyway. I don't care if I proc a barrier here. It's fine by me. Because Bunny Dawn would actually uh, put a barrier up anyway. So when she has threes, it's gonna cleanse. She's probably on Doctor's bag. Oh, yeah, there she is. So she does cleanse the stun. Uh, he is still defense broken, but that's fine. Ravi's gonna finish off the Wukong. Again, fire units are really good into him, so it's typically not a huge issue if the opponent picks Wukong, especially if you're a user like me that uses units like Fire Ravi quite a bit this meta. Uh, he's gonna try to kill DDR. It's fine. Actually, wait a minute. He, he done goofed. Uh, Fire Robbie kills. Yeah. I didn't even need that dual attack. He was dead. <laughs> oh, man. That was pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, so is he on 3F? I think he is. So he's gonna kill DDR. Boom. Oh, not quite. Not quite. That's okay. We'll hit the uh, Senya just because... She doesn't have a barrier. We will go for... Do not want to go for LRK here? Six turns, huh? I'll just try to injury down this Senya for right now. The injury is going to be quite good. Just keep hitting the Senya, why not? No reason to hit the Bunny Dom right now. Uh, LRK can finish off DDR, but DDR kind of already did his job of giving my team a bit of tempo at the start. Right now, I'm just worried about getting put to sleep here. Uh, but we resisted, we're fine. I can S3 and put more injury on everybody. So I'm gonna do that. Really, I know that the LRK is gonna give a barrier and stuff, but this this damage here is mostly for injury. 
inflict that injury, and look at that. The Senya's uh, max health is, she's only at 43k health now. So 3F, not really gonna do all that much. A timing got blocked with Rage, that's good. Senya's gonna have her S3 up soon. So we will go and Soul Burn this. Try to inflict even more injuries. Look at that, Shalter putting in the work here. Uh, let's go ahead and, oh, I was gonna provoke, uh, probably provoke the Bunny Dom because I had the ignore res. That way I could, um, I was clicking on Senya. I should have clicked on Bunny Dom. That way uh, we prevent her from, from cleansing the team, pushing up and healing with Doctor's Bag. But yeah, look at that. Pretty decent. Not bad at all. Okay, let's jump into another one there. So unfortunately we did lose one, but it's fine. Uh, two wins and one loss so far. Not too shabby. We're going to keep climbing up. Try to reach a uh, champion here. I know some of you guys might actually have some questions about, like, what happened to the, to the Seven World Championship uh, preliminary stuff, you know? What went on with that? I ended up just not having time. I spent a lot of time actually just organizing, cleaning up um, <clears throat> the house that I'm, I'm in right now, and yeah. we I mean, we moved in, like, uh, at this point about three months ago, and because of school and teaching and stuff, I really haven't had time to, to really settle in, and I'm, we've been living out of boxes, essentially. So, we took that time to kind of settle down, clean up a lot, pretty much almost fully unpacked now, which is fantastic. Oh, it feels great. But yeah, it did come at the cost of playing the World Championship uh, preliminaries, but it's okay. We will probably try to uh, commentate over the, the matches just like we did last year. I don't know if I'll make separate videos for each one or if I'll do like a live stream type of thing where you can watch live with me. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but we'll see. I do, I do, and I'm, this is not a promise or a guarantee or anything, but I kind of want to start doing some live streams for E7. Maybe at least once a week or something would be a fun little thing to do on the side. But yeah, that's no, not a guarantee. Just throwing that out there that I'm, I'm contemplating it because it's been a while since I've streamed, but it is really fun. Uh, but yeah, if you don't want to miss out on future potential streams, be sure to subscribe to the channel uh, so you don't miss out on that. Because I'll probably be streaming on YouTube, I don't know if I'll go on to Twitch, we'll see. Anyway, Blood Moon Haze getting picked up with Laia, ooh, actually. Uh, this looks like a Wukong game, honestly, but it's a Fire Robbie game, so we're gonna Fire Robbie this, and... Uh, Wukong would be pretty good here too, I would say. Do I want to lock in a support unit? I think I do. Let's lock in a support unit. Honestly, Dragon King Shroon might be kind of nice. I'll put in Dragon King Shroon here. Yeah, I'll throw in Dragon King Shroon. She, you might be like, well, that's a little weird to put in here. I mean, it's Elia, it's a Blood Moon Haze, it's a stun, but Dragon King Shroon is a really strong utility unit, and there's not really a cleanse besides Laya on the other side. So, Dragon King Shroon is going to be a pretty decent pickup uh, for us at this point. So, we'll pick Wukong down here. I don't think my opponent's going to ban Wukong. And out of all these units, probably going to ban Bravi. So, we'll see what the ban protection's going to be. Uh, by picking Bravi early, I'm kind of baiting my opponent into picking like an ice unit or something like that so we can pick Wukong more easily with the elemental advantage uh, be quite nice. Dragon King Shirun's also a great support unit because uh, she actually doesn't have a non-attack skill so my opponent can't use stuff like Selene into me. That's one of the other reasons why I do really love her as a unit. She does uh, accomplish her job of cleansing stuff potentially while uh, not procking certain units. Oh, Elena and Karina. See, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. We're pick the opponent's picking um, ice units, and now we have a lot of potential that we can go into with uh, with Earth, right? For example, <laughs> I can actually go into this with Alencia. So Alencia could be a pretty good injury unit here. We'll go Alencia and Wukong, slap in double Earth units, and I think I can actually fight the first four pretty easily. Uh, yeah, so. That's the downside of picking double of an element here. Double ice means that really, really weak into these earth units. He's probably banning Alencia because her injury is going to destroy Laia, ML Haste, and uh, Alencia is a pretty good matchup into Karina, actually. Not terrible. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, if this last pick unit is a fire unit, I think we just ban the Ed, and we're fine. We essentially don't really use AoEs here because the Elena, we just try to burst her down. Uh, I'm going to focus ML Haste first with injury. If they let Alencia through, if not, we'll just we'll just chip away at the haste with everyone until uh, he dies. Because 
If you notice this team, it doesn't have any mitigation. Karina is typically on Rocket Punch Gauntlet, not on Oreos or anything like that. So we'll kill Blood Moon Haze first. Oh, he's... Wait, what? Why would he ban Fire Robbie? I mean, Fire Robbie is really good into pretty much his entire team, and I've mentioned before in the past how Fire Robbie pretty much beats, um... Fire Robbie pretty much does beat things like, uh, Haste, uh, and Laia. Ooh, do I want to protect the Dragon King Shrew in the back? I don't think so. I think we'll protect Wukong. I think we'll protect Wukong in the back, because I really want to, I want him to survive, right? And I want to be able to push him up with, uh, Senya, too. We'll turn cycle him. It'll be kind of good. Alright, let's see if he pushes up his team. It doesn't really matter if he does, because Elena will be able to just S3. It's not a huge deal. Alright, let's go for an S3 onto the Blood Moon Haste. I don't care if Elena comes in with an S3. Alencia could try to strip. We'll try to push up the Wukong. Very nice. He is gonna counter with this. Oh, look at that disgusting Celestine heal, guys. Look at that. Uh, I am just gonna S1. I'm not gonna S3 just yet, because Elena's gonna come in and cleanse anyway. Yeah, we'll, we'll let her heal here. The reason why I'm letting her heal here is because, um, Dragon King Sharoon and Alencia both haven't gone yet, so if Elena S3s and puts the invincibility on, we're in a good position. If they don't, we're still in a good position, because watch this. Look at this. I don't care if he counters and heals now, because we're gonna injury him down so bad that he won't have anything left that he can do against us. Look at that damage already. We're gonna go ahead and uh, not stun Laya. I want to stun her so I can proc her... Um, I really want to proc her... what is it called? Uh, Sweet Miracle Artifact, so that she can cleanse a bit earlier, so that we can, you know, land some more defense breaks uh, later on. Sacred Tree Branch pushing us up a little bit. Uh, Blood Moon Haze could probably kill the Sharoon. Okay, he's... okay, that's fine. Stunning and pushing up with a Sacred Tree Branch is pretty decent. I hope he dual attacks with Elena, or not. <laughs> oh, that kinda sucks. Alright. Uh, Wukong is gonna go, that's fine. Uh, the attack buff on Wukong is not terrible. I could just kill Blood Moon Haste, probably. Uh, Wukong, he, he does, uh, increase his damage that's dealt based on the difference in attack. And yeah, oh, dang, that was so close! Alright, Elena might, uh, S3 now. Which is fine if she S3s. Uh, Alencia can also S3. We can try to strip his uh, his units here. Okay, um, effect res buff. Alright, we lost a bit of our um, utility, which is unfortunate. The utility I really want here is to have um, Dragon King Sharoon, like strip these buffs. But unfortunately she went down. So we'll just go for this. She's gonna heal, it's okay. Alright, Laya does have S3 on the next turn. She might turn cycle here and put uh, S2 up, or not. Alright. I feel like Blood Moon Haze is going to go ahead and try to kill the Senya here. It's all good, because uh, what we're going to do with Laya is we are going to... I don't really want to soul burn this. Um... Yeah, Elena's going to go and cleanse it anyway when she S1s. So, no defense break is unfortunate. Still a good chunk of injury, though. Injury down the Laya so she has a harder time killing. And unfortunately, Elena's turn cycling quite nicely, so she is going to be able to sustain heals with that S2. It's fine, though. Let's see if Blood Moon Haste goes for the Senya. No! He's going to go for an S1. Alright, going to go for the Celestine heal. That's fine. He might Soul Burn. 22k HP Laya can still do quite a bit of damage. I hope it doesn't kill Alencia. I hope he goes for Wukong. Oh no, he's gonna smart play. Just go ahead and guarantee the kill on Senya. That, that's a good chunk of heals. Double Earth units versus his team. Can we do this? We do have uh, stacks of speed and stuff coming up though. That's good. Look at that. Stacks of speed and attack. That's not terrible. I do need to kill this Blood Moon Haste, so I'm not gonna Soul Burn. He has the res buff anyway, so... And the Elena would cleanse. Alright, good damage onto the haste. If my Wukong can, uh... Can kill, that'd be great, but I don't think I can. 
do I soul burn? I might as well soul burn it, right? I might as well. Heal a little bit, that's fine. It's gonna be a tricky match. Very tricky match. Okay. Alright. Now that I can S1, uh, let's go ahead and try to kill the- please, if I defense break here, this kills. No, it doesn't! I thought Mind's Eye would cancel off his res buff. Unfortunately, not happening. Uh, Wukong's S3 should be able to kill the Blood Moon Haste. I'm just worried that Karina's gonna get her buff. Okay, Immortal 1. Wukong's doing so good right now. Uh, please go into Wukong. Please go into Wukong. Yes, very good. Because Lia penetrates defense, but we're resistant to that, so look at that. Not bad, not bad at all. She can S3. If she hits, it might actually hurt me quite a bit. Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute, that's not good. Alright, we kill here. We kill here, we're gonna heal. It's gonna be a lot of damage, so lifesteal's gonna kick in. Yeah, there we go. Quite nice. We lose the defense buff, uh, defense break as well, which is good. And I am just gonna S1 the Laya. Very nice. Get that injury onto that Laya. Beautiful stuff. He's gonna focus on Wukong. See, we're getting a lot of good attack stacks, and uh... Oh, good. Resist. Oh, shoot! <laughs> oh, that's not good. We're gonna lose to Karina. Oh, Rocket Punch Gauntlet is scaling so well right now. Uh, if we can defense break this Laya... Oh no! Oh no! No defense break on Laya! Oh man. Oh, it's over, guys. We needed to kill this Laya. Uh, because look, the, the dual attacks with the Rocket Punch Gauntlet is a little too much. That's unfortunate, that's unfortunate. So yeah, with that being said though, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.